Are you looking for new ideas for your training? Do you want to make your gameplay a little bit more ambitious, with more fun and maybe with more eagerness? Are you interested in new variations about counting points in a competition game? Then you have to check out today's video. Hey guys, welcome back on my channel. My name is Martin. I hope you have a great day. And today we're going to talk about a little, little, little variation you can do by counting points. It's so easy. So everybody can do it in our competition game, usually at the end of the training. But even when you do it already before in the training, in, our, in your practice, you want to do some competition challenges, some gameplay with points. You can use this technique, this variation of counting points. It's so easy. Everybody can do it. And I think it's nice since it's just a little bit different and uh, has some mental hacks for your players. Let's go. So always when we do competition games in our warm up, in our main part, we usually count points often up from zero to whatever number wins the set. But today we're gonna count backwards. In my example, I was playing from 7-7 seven, seven backwards to zero. And I told the guys that the seven points on the scoreboard are their lives they have with their team. You see us here playing Fanga, a very easy two contact ball game. The guys know and love Fanga and really likes to play it. But today it was not about scoring points, today it was losing lives for making mistakes. Just in a computer game, they lose a life for every mistake they do. And this is kind of the fun part of this variation. So the first team who reaches zero points or let's say zero lives loses the game and the winner still has some points on the scoreboard. So the more lives your team lost already, the more pressure on the team, on every player. And this is kind of some different mental hack for your gameplay. Try it out. Okay guys, hope you like this video, hope you like this idea of counting points. There are so many chances you have to use variations, very easy variations. They don't have to be very complicated or complex or hard to count or very hard to calculate. Just do the easy stuff with easy math and very easy ways to count. They are interesting, they make fun and they like turn things upside down to make it fun and interesting for your players. If you like this video, please smash the like button. You maybe want to subscribe to my channel, ring this little notification bell so you get notified when the, when the next video is online. Usually Mondays, sometime, sometimes on Fridays. And then we will see us in the next video. See you there. Have a great day. Bye bye. <laughs>